10 terms that you should know before being an extra so you can be professional and just know what people are talking about. Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress in the San Francisco Bay Area and I make acting related videos every Monday and Thursday like where to find auditions, how to film self tape auditions and lately I've been doing a lot of extras uh, related video. So today I wanted to tell you about 10 terms that you should know before being an extra so you can know what people are talking about so you can be professional on set and act like you know what you're doing. The first word I want to talk about is uh, the union, SAG-AFTRA. So SAG is Screen Actors Guild, AFTRA is American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. That's really long, that's why it's an acronym, and it is the union that a lot of performers join. If you're on a big set, like if you're on 13 Reasons Why or something, it's a SAG set. It's a big set with a big budget and the actors and performers, a lot of them are part of this union. So if you want to have a career in acting, I really recommend, just like any performer type of thing, I would really recommend looking into SAG after because you can get a lot of really great benefits from it and you can get treated even better on set um, by being union. And you might get offered a union voucher which is why I wanted to bring this up so you can know a little bit about that call sheet the call sheet is different depending on if you're doing like a commercial shoot or you're going to be one of 300 extras so usually when you're in a commercial shoot you're going to have all of the information of everybody's get, that's going to be there usually has the weather the nearest hospital what time you need to be there lists of everybody's contact information all the artists when you're an extra in a bigger set when you're one of like 300 or something it's usually just going to have your most basic information of what time you need to be there where you need to park what kind of clothing options you need to bring set rules that kind of stuff and usually you get that the night before the shoot extras holding is a room that uh, usually has a crafty table a couple of changing areas and maybe depending on the size of the set a couple of crew members and security and that's where the extras uh, sit and wait while they're waiting to be called a pay voucher So when you get to set you're going to fill out all of your information You are going to write all of uh, your tax information show them your social security card Just let them know that you are legally allowed to work in this country And it's going to be a piece of paper that you can keep a copy of for your record So in case you um, don't get paid adequately, you can tell them like hey, I have my pay voucher It's like your receipt. Um, you guys didn't pay me what I did deserve to get paid so you should definitely keep a copy of that craft services aka crafty it's the amazing people that feed us all day long like I mentioned in extras holding there'll probably be a crafty table with something to drink and something to eat um, that's what one of the reasons I love to be an extra on large sets it's because you usually get paid really um, you usually get fed <laughs> Um, pretty well like they usually have a nice little assortment of uh, Treats good friends to have marks. This is really important So when you're an extra sometimes they want you to go like from point A to point B and they want you to at a certain point Maybe put something down So those are gonna be your marks if they ask you like I need you to start here and when this actor is Crossing I need you to cross and come over here. So those are your marks or like your directions or your blocking pantomime this is doing actions like clapping or high-fiving somebody or talking without actually making a single sound because they want you to be in the back and kind of decorate the back, right? But they don't necessarily want you to make any sound. So pantomime means do whatever they ask you to do, but don't make a single sound. Oh, and a quick tip for this, never point. It's really easy to just because you're not saying anything or making any noises you want to like talk and point at something and it's so hard because it's such like a natural instinct I remember the first time they said okay remember not to point I was like why would we point that's so dumb but then as soon as we started doing it because I was pantomiming I started pointing and I was like oh shoot it's just like such a natural reaction to express yourself when you can't say anything so just remember to not point rolling that means the camera is going and you should not make a single sound unless you're asked to but rolling means the camera is going it's recording so you should probably not talk background is more like action for background people so usually on set when the director or assistant director calls action it is for the main actors and when they yell background it's when the background people need to start going so usually how it'll go is that they start rolling the camera 
everybody's quiet, right? They're ready to shoot. And then they'll say background. And that's when like the background people will do their thing, walk or whatever. And then on action, they say it after background is when the main actors are going to go and do their thing. So unless you're told otherwise, go on background if you are a background. And the last one, number 10, is first team, second team. First team are the actual actors. Um, and second team are the stand-ins. If you don't know what stand-ins stand are, then I can let you guys know about that, but it's basically the people that stand there instead of the actual actors while everybody else puts the next scene together. All right, those are all the terms, some basic terms that you should know, uh, so you kind of feel comfortable on set and know what people are talking about because I definitely remember the first time I heard crafty, I was like, arts and crafts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Sub consider subscribing. I make acting related videos every Monday and Thursday, so you should definitely subscribe if you're into that. And uh, next, you can watch another extras video because I have a bunch of them. And uh, I feature somebody's channel at the end of every video. This week is Kathy. She reads a bunch of books, watches a bunch of shows, and then lets you know about it. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like this video.